Good morning, everybody. I guess this is going to be my final uh, update on the GoFundMe efforts um, for my trip to Mayo. It is Wednesday. It has been one week since I had the ablation done on the nodule on my thyroid. It's still way too early to tell if it's shrinking. It probably isn't. It's it still might even be a little swollen from the uh, procedure. They say it would swell up pretty big. Uh, I think it's gone back down a little bit since the surgery. But within the next six months to a year, it's supposed to shrink. Uh, not completely go away, but shrink down to at least 50% of its mass. Um, as I've said in other videos, I'll probably have to have this done again and a couple of years and that's okay because uh, it certainly beats being cut open and having the thyroid removed uh, because of the uh, dangers of anesthesia and the uh, dangers of being intubated being having a, a tube put down into my lungs to breathe for me everything about that spells very very uh, disastrous consequences. So we're very happy that we have a, an alternative that will at least keep this thing from continuing to grow until it's so large that there's just, it, it could very well consume me. Um, it sounds horrible and, and just surely I wouldn't let it go that far and I wouldn't. You know, if, if this had not worked, then I, despite all efforts of uh, stopping it, I would have chosen to have the surgery to remove the right half of my thyroid. Being that it would be putting me under general anesthesia and it would be intubating me, I would have no choice, but I'm thankful we didn't have to take that route. So, being as this is the last update, I'm going, I, I wanted to share with you guys the, the funding uh, and expenses of the trip. Um, I owe it to you guys for, for donating and helping on this trip. Um, got my notes here. The expenses of the trip Thankful, thanks to having to rent a cargo van, uh, this, this was a must to carry my mattress and bed frame. Not the actual frame, but the mattress and the makeshift frame that my brother made up. Anyway, we had to have a cargo van. Uh, if we had traveled like we should have, as uh, by renting a minivan that is, you know, designed for smooth rides. It's a passenger van, right? Uh, that would have ran us a thousand dollars, if not a little more, uh, for the entire six, seven days. So we ended up renting a cargo van, and that cargo van was only three hundred seventy-nine dollars. Big savings. <clears throat> so that can that factored in the gas expense on the trip was three hundred and six dollars, and the house we rented was five hundred and twenty-five dollars. So we got really, really off. I was going to say lucky, but we were very blessed to to have this trip be. Uh, uh, as inexpensive as it was, the total trip expenses $1,265. That, I mean, that's that's incredible. Uh, we were shooting for 5000 huh, on GoFundMe, and I actually had a conversation with someone who thought that wasn't high enough. But the Lord's been good, He's kept our uh, expenses very low, and uh, we're thankful for that. 
the total donations go fund me after their uh, uh what do you call it their their fees the go fund me let me do some quick math e Right at eighteen hundred dollars, I'll say. I didn't have that note wrote down, but uh, check checks and cash that we received that was sixteen hundred dollars that didn't go to GoFundMe. So overall, total donations were three thousand four hundred nineteen dollars. So you do the math. There's about two thousand dollars that was raised more than what we needed for this trip. And uh, I'm so thankful of the, the show of love and support that we had. It's, uh, it's kind of surreal. But uh, I know all of you want to know, what am I going to do with the other $2,000? If I were you, I would want to know. So, I'm going to tell you, I'll try to keep this brief, but I want to go back to February of last, no, of this year. Back then, I was still trying to find uh, a route to Mayo. Um, I kept meeting brick wall after brick wall until I finally found uh, a way in. But uh, by, by, by what I mean by way in is... Uh, I found a doctor at UAB who graduated from Mayo nine years ago. I figure maybe he will know someone, can reach out for me. That's exactly what happened. But all that took time. While I was waiting, I had decided a year ago that I wanted to open a store on the internet. <clears throat> an online uh, memorabilia store, sci-fi, t-shirts, hats, toys, games. So back in February, I started to work on putting all this together. I had made a little bit of money from eBay the year prior. So I put all this together and it took me three months to put together the entire store and get it ready to open. That would be in April, May. So in May, I decided not to open the store because I know the responsibility that it, it's going to take. And I did not know the outcome of this thyroid procedure so I put everything on hold after it was finished There's, and kind of locked it up. It's actually cost me $120 just to keep it there. That's every month. $120 a month just to keep it there in place till I could finally get through this Mayo experience and... Uh, be able to devote my time to this business. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this $2,000 in my uh, business account. And it will make a very nice cushion to operate this business and get it really off the ground. I can tell you that... Uh, a lot of that is going to go toward advertising. That's kind of where I'm at now with the store. Um, I haven't officially said the name of it yet because uh, I want to make sure everything is functioning. And I haven't got to it yet since I've been home. But that's my intention next week to hit the ground running and get this store off the ground so I can alleviate the problem I have with funding caregivers. It's all about taking care of yourself. It's one thing I've learned when it really comes down to it. You can't always depend on family. 
you can't depend on friends and you cannot depend on our government. So as I have always said, since I've been an entrepreneur, you've got to make the money yourself if you want to have what you want. And that's what I intend to do. So thank you all for uh, your prayers, your support, your donations, and uh, I love you all. And I don't know how I can thank you other than to uh, try to do what is right by what you have given me. So thank you again. I love you. God bless you all. Bye-bye.